In my quest to go fully electric with boating, I've decided to start at the bottom and work my way up. We've got another boat besides this one. We've got the Tantalus. The engine's gone on that. We're stripping the engine down now, and I'm already getting bits to start making up the electric outboard. That's all coming together now. But in the meantime, we're going to make the Broom speedboat electric, and the parts have just arrived. Right, it's arrived. Now, first thing I noticed is quite heavy. It's a bit of weight to it. I always like that with the motor. This one is 12 volts, but it's... Uh, digga, 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 digga. Where is it now? 68 pounds of thrust. So, we're going to go get the other outboard off, and we're going to rig this up and uh, see what it's like. This, uh, this here is 100 watts portable. I've had this a little while now, I haven't really used it. It's going to be on the broom, and that's my leisure battery. Now, this engine here, you know, it was really quite reliable, but there's a few things about it that I just don't like. First of all, it costs more money to run this than it does the BMC in this one, and that's a 1500 diesel. I kid you not. The parts on this are ridiculously expensive. The throttle cable snapped, that cost 50 quid. This trolling bracket snapped. That's 50 quid. And also, the uh, the throttle doesn't release. So it's caught me out a couple of times. You know, if you take your hand off it, it stays in drive. But, you know, I'm going to use this for other purposes, maybe a backup engine, but it's time for it to go. Now it's time to go test it. I think I'm probably asking a little bit too much out of this because the broom is actually quite a heavy boat. I think it weighs something about 250, 300 kilograms. And these motors are normally for dinghies and really tiny, tiny boats. But if it means I can move the boat around without having to fill it with fuel all the time and listen to that bloody engine, I'll be happy. So let's go test it out. Got to take some alcohol um, wiping solution to make sure there's none of this coronavirus on the boat. The one thing I have noticed is it doesn't seem to turn off. There's no on-off switch. Um, I do have an isolating switch on the battery. But it'd be nice to be able to turn that off somewhere. Okay, now we've got the portable solar in for the time being. I'm thinking about putting one there at some point. So that'll, that'll be alright, that's fine. And uh, we've got a leisure battery in there to power this. And we've actually got a starter battery in there as well. I'm going to keep that in for the time being because it's got a bilge pump. Right, we've got five settings for um, forward and we've got five, no, sorry, three for going backwards. Now, this is actually the second time I've been out in this boat, so. I've got a bit of an idea of what it's like now. This is the, the lowest possible setting. But one thing that is absolutely remarkable about this is it's turning circle. Now we're on the lowest setting now. Now watch this. I mean it literally turns on the spot. <laughs> now that's got to be handy for mooring, right? How about that? Okay, now we're just going to go up the river here because I've got a little sailboat up here which is waiting to come out. Oh, too far. So that's off, that's on, that's one. Alright, so let's get an idea what it is like. The lowest level. Obviously, it's painfully slow, but it's good for moving around any mooring. Go to number two. Number three. Four. And then this is five. Wow. Look, 
like it's not as fast as the outboard, obviously, but the outboard was um, seven and a half horsepower. But as you can see, we are moving. And this is a, a heavier boat than a dinghy, as I'm sure you can appreciate. I'd say probably doing about two miles now, but I'm going to turn off now and do a speed check because I've got a speedo on this phone. So this is basically the best part of four miles an hour. I, I really didn't think it was doing that. I thought I was doing about two miles an hour. So that's that's amazing. I'm really, really pleased with this. How awesome is this, man? Well, you know what, this probably costs, I think it was about 100 and, I forget now, I think it was 180 quid or something, maybe 160, 170, I'll have to check, sorry about that, but um, I think this is way better than I ever expected. I thought it would be really, really difficult to move this boat along. Now look, I know the battery is obviously going to get caned, but we have a solar panel on, and I'm only using it to go short distances anyway, and I can tell you now that being on the river, with no engine sound, apart from this little buzz in the back, is awesome. I tell you what, I, there's no doubt about it. I'm 100% convinced I am going to go electric. I'm already sorting some parts out now to make that one electric. This boat here, Tantalus, is um, she's actually been booked to come out for some time now. But with what's going on in the world right now, there literally isn't any space on the boatyard. I've got a space reserve and as soon as it becomes available she's coming out. Um, what's even more bizarre is the whole winter it's been flooded up here but the waters have suddenly dropped and it's dropped so much that this boat is actually grounded out. So I can't move it now if I wanted to. So I actually need some rain which is crazy but hopefully depending on how things go now um, hopefully sometime in the next maybe week two weeks this boat will be coming out. And during the summer, if I can, I'm going to be restoring this boat and making it electric. Wow, you know, this is really, really peaceful. One day, all the boats up here will be electric. Imagine that, they're running engines and moorings. Huh, I'll be there. This is awesome, folks. <laughs> the battery going to be good for look if, if I can get a couple of hours use out of it at sort of like moderate speed which is three miles an hour um, I'm quite happy with that mm -hmm. 